Liverpool interested in championship midfielder. It has not been an ideal start to the season for Liverpool. After convincingly beating Manchester City in the Community Shield, hopes were high that the club was ready to hit the ground running in the Premier League. The reality was much different. They weren't entirely impressive in their opening fixture against Fulham, with a bit of luck coming out of Craven Cottage by one point. The draw against Crystal Palace on Monday night was a better performance, but they still lacked the clinical advantage in front of the goal after Darwin Nunez's must-see red card. Midfield is definitely an area of concern. Many felt they had entered the season a bit lightly in that area, a point that was only taken home after Thiago, Akex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Naby Keita were injured earlier in the season. This trio has had a lot of fitness issues over the past few seasons, which adds to the argument that another midfielder is needed. Although Jurgen Klopp insisted that such a move was unlikely, although a potential option emerged, he said in his latest statement that, the situation has changed, and that this decision has changed. Liverpool are interested in Sander Berger. According to the latest reports, Liverpool have watched Sheffield United's midfielder in recent weeks and are interested in his transfer. Despite being limited to the championship last season, the Norwegian player is a highly rated prospect. It was seen as a big trophy for Sheffield United when they managed to sign from Henk in January 2020 for over £20 million. Despite some injury issues, he made 31 appearances in the second flight last season scoring twice in four games since the start of the new campaign. Liverpool has been credited with taking care of Berger in the past, and at 24, he still has plenty of room for improvement. The midfielder allegedly had a £35 million release clause in his contract, while Belgian team club Bruges recently received a £12.5 million offer for their services, which was rejected. Speaking recently, Sheffield United manager Paul Heckingbottom admitted that they could lose the player this summer. If Sander keeps scoring goals in every game and then someone is probably going to pay the number I don't want him to pay. But then there would be nothing we could do about it. He played in the Champions League and we signed him for a lot of money and he wanted to come here and play in the Premier League. Sander Berger has made 30 appearances for Norway since his debut in 2017. While this isn't the high-priced deal some Liverpool fans were hoping for, it should be a deal that will add depth to the midfield and be able to cross the line if the club wants to pursue it. It looks like something to consider in the coming weeks. Naby Keita's departure paves the way for new signings. Liverpool may be lining up for the heavy end of the transfer window, and there have been reports claiming players could both leave and be in the squad. Fans are frustrated by injuries to key players, a suspension that needs to be tackled and back-to-back -back draws. The pressure is mounting to do some kind of business, given what competitors are spending and continue to line up spending from now until the end of the window. Recent reports claim we can see what's coming and going in Anfield, but who exactly could be involved? Let's see who can go first. Liverpool are keen to keep Naby Keita and they can claim an ongoing good relationship with the players' representatives, but it's hard to ignore allegations that Guinea from Germany is unhappy. Sky Germany is now reporting that Keita may be leaving the role this summer disappointed. It's odd for a player who got a lot of fanfare in 2018, a year after his £52 million transfer deal with Leipzig was agreed. Coming to Anfield was heavy on his shoulders, but that put pressure on him. Injuries played a big role, of course. Cater spent a lot of time on the treatment table with minor giggle problems and missed many games due to illness. The now 27-year-old has only played 117 times in all competitions for Liverpool in his four full seasons at the club. Injuries really bothered him, with Cater missing an astonishing 61 games since 2018 due to fitness issues. It would make sense to question whether Keita has been successful at Liverpool. The 27-year-old did not make a flop but failed to make himself a cornerstone of the team. 
neither Liverpool nor the player himself should find surprising questions about his performance and influence during his four-year term as a Reds man. At this point, long enough has passed to make a decision, and the fact that the jury is still out is telling. It is not yet clear whether Cater will remain at Liverpool after the end of this season. However, if Cater is unwilling to sign a new deal, the best option for Liverpool would be to sell him now rather than lose him for nothing next year. But the only thing that is inevitable is then the arrival of another midfielder. So who can come? Let's examine those names together. Jude Bellingham is the man Liverpool are intent on signing in 2023 and another addition to the England national team may need to be added if Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and James Milner both leave at the same time. Reds boss Jurgen Klopp is a known fan of Jude Bellingham. When asked if Liverpool will sign up for the 19-year-old this summer in mid-July, Klopp replied, he's not in the market so that's the first problem with this player. Well, that's the only problem with that player, he said. Liverpool are expected to sign for Bellingham next summer for a long time. Dortmund usually sell their best players, but rarely more than once in the same window. Indeed, they resisted attempts to buy Erling Holland as Jadon Sancho went to Old Trafford at the same time last summer. This allowed Holland to stay for another 12 months and Manchester City became the final beneficiary a year later. With the Norwegian shooter currently at Etihad, Jude Bellingham's chances of taking a lead this summer also look slim. The ideal scenario would be to push their proposed move forward for Bellingham a year. German sources had previously reported that the tender for Bellingham would start at £100 million. Now, the news is that Liverpool is looking at short-term midfield options, contrary to Klopp's public stance. However, Bellingham clearly does not fall into the short-term category and the potential club record move will stretch to 2023. Another potential midfielder is Moises Caicedo from Brighton. The Brighton midfielder caught the eye with his performance at Old Trafford and has now managed to land on the Reds' radar. It should be noted that Brighton is not considering any deals for the player, who joined for £4 million from Beerschot last summer. He had previously declined to sign with United to sign for the Seagulls, but is still very crude considering he has only played 10 Premier League games so far. If he comes, let's examine how he adapts to Liverpool. 20-year-old Caicedo is a strong presence in the midfield and a fighter in the middle of the court. He has made 23 appearances for his country and offers a real presence in the midfield. He currently plays in the midfield double pivot with Alexis McAllister on the three, 4-3 system and plays the same center for Ecuador in the 4-2-3-1 setup. Graham Potter loves tactically flexible players and Caicedo delivers. There's no reason why Liverpool shouldn't work as a box-to-box, -box, hard fought midfielder in the midfield trio, he is in the 84th and 86th percentiles for tackles and openings for midfielders. However, his offensive stats could be improved but should naturally improve given that he is still only 20 years old and has not yet had a full season in English football. But after a season or two, Caicedo will definitely go from a £5 million player to something 10x more. We'll see how much Liverpool want him.